Hey there guys, my name is Roxy and welcome back to some more Let's Play The Wolf Among Us where today we are about to start episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors. So if you missed the last couple of episodes, well, um, a lot happened. But in the end of the last episode, of course, at, and at the end of part 6, episode 1, that gets a little confusing. But yeah, uh, we actually found that Snow White has also been killed. So yeah, there is a serial killer on the loose and we need to see if we can figure out who it is. Let's uh, jump straight in. Mr. Toad? Food something, Big B. Before we completely oh, we're gonna get a plate. bit of a recap now. I didn't really expect that, whoa, but yeah. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. did some slapping. What the fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> Some fighting happened. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. And then, uh, yeah, she said something nice. You won't tell right, right, Beauty me. did leave the premises and, uh... Whatever it is, it's between yeah. you and Beast. We, we said we were staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Oh, Beauty and the Beast me. might come into play this time around. Yeah, we uh, found that girl's head. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't Ichabod was all rude. You to for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. Oh, I'm D. He's dumb. All right, and now uh, we chase D. <gasps> got punched in the head by Dumb. Got back to him. If he ever thought you knew, or Miss White. Back and kill more. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named Fuck, man. This fucking lap dog. He comes sniffing around this part of town with the rich fucks in the woods. Need to check that. Right, big big Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. But then we also found found her find her dead? I thought we did. But yeah, a lot of stuff happened. But we did get dumb, right? Or D. I don't know. One of the two we did get, I think. So uh that should be interesting. Oh, ooh, this looks creepy. Oh, right, yeah, because right here, we're gonna continue on from the moment that Bixby sees the head. Oh, yep, that's Snow White's head, all right. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Mm, if you want to help me, let me go. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... And what? Hmm? And what? That's right. You've got nothing. I'm trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? Didn't think so. No. Didn't think so. Hey, Bixby, we're on the same page here. 
Your nose is bleeding. Why is your nose bleeding? That's... Are you... okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? What the heck is going on? Did Please. she get poisoned? Please. getting poisoned or something what's what's going on this is some weird stuff oh we have to go no. now what the fuck is going on you should be thanking me it's just a memory wipe spell very expensive but it works the whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands well, hurry up. I guess that is useful for us. So, uh, I guess we should get out of here. Thank you, Ichabod, for not being a huge, huge asswipe. That's appreciated. I guess we are driving cars and stuff now, so I guess that makes sense. Um. Thanks for the lift. Certainly. We um. We found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. There's two of them, Dee and Dum, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. Yeah, they are suspicious still. That doesn't still. mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. No, but they're still suspicious. You don't have to be the murderer to be suspicious and have information that could be useful to finding the killer. So I still think we should interrogate him. Both, if possible. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. I mean, yeah, she seemed really nice and you know, like everyone really got along. One of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Not gonna be a jerk to him now. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, Everything's gotten so confused. I guess fairy tales don't belong here. Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Big B. She seemed to be. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. That's definitely true. In two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. No need to crack his window. That was a bit over the top. <sighs> okay, well, at least we uh, got out of the police station and we're back home. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. 
Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. I already don't like Bluebeard. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girl's got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. Especially with this heat wave going on. I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. You don't want to punch him. I want to keep talking. Come on, Big B. We both know this isn't go. Hmm. Do we want to show him the photo? Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman, and we need to know who. I get it, I do, but I can't tell you what I don't know. Hmm. He knows something, though. Let's see if we can get some other information Just out of him. tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Okay, so what do you know? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Hmm, money and a cigarette. Or a cigar, I should say. It... You always carry this much cash? I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? I'm not gonna steal his money. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You went to find Faith's what? Her yeah. apartment. I mm. went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. You were gonna there say more. more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. Since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. We really need to get him to talk. I this know you enjoy my up. company, <laughs> but I'd like to be off. You just carry this around? Always handy that way. Really? We can only offer him a drink or smash him? I'm not sure this is really working. I couldn't hurt, I guess. Maybe he need, just needs a bit of a... Smooth and throat to start this talking. To work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Well, any 
handle this? Come on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, I ain't got nothing worth taking. Your boss. Who would that be then? So let's talk about your boss then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Mm, I think you're gonna have to answer more of my what is questions. It now, Big B? I'll ask you again. Who do you work for? I can't tell you. Hmm. Wanna pick up his cigar? I'm saving that. Come on, just talk, D. Real nice. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least, you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's hmm. no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. He's gonna it's spill something. To be a murder me. investigation. But you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard. And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself immensely. Back off, Bluebeard. Yeah, Bluebeard. No need for you to start fighting. Come on now, really? We we're we really gonna do this? I'm really gonna have to beat you up now? Come on, Bluebeard. I, just, I was just doing my investigation here, and you started being a brat. Well, who would that be? Snow? What? How is she alive? How? Okay, that... Wow. Um... Yeah, I did not expect her to still be alive. That is definitely quite something. Also, I felt like my interrogation tactic was working. I got him to talk quite a bit. Bluebeard was just being an ass when he wanted to beat him up. You can always beat him up if the talking ends up not working at all at the end, but it was definitely still working while I was doing it. So, Bluebeard should just not be so impatient and let me handle things next time. Because he pretty much just ruined things, unless we can fix things from here on out. Let's hope we can. But there we go, episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors. Alright, that security guard is still so lazy and useless. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I didn't abuse him though. It wasn't me, it was Bluebeard. I was stopping him. I hope it was worth your time. Shit, I should have said that, it wasn't me. You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead- I was working on this case. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found the body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. What? Or at least to figure out who she is. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you. 
or anyone, so I took care of it. I'm glad you did then, but yeah, I wish I could have helped. Snow? What is it? Uh, I'm glad you're alive. I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, definitely. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. You think they were targeting you? Well, it's not your fault. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. Hmm. That's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Well, we have to keep working. Just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting no, that's for the big bad wolf meant. to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I meant like we should work on it together, you included. I'm like sorry. The investigation we did at Toad's apartment and Lawrence's. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I'm, I'm well aware. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. I can handle the kid. Okay. Let's not be too rude and aggressive. I think that's what she was saying. Mm -hmm.